And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly Show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, the Steam Autumn Sale is upon us, so your bank accounts, yes, all of them, shall cry out in horror. And a benchmark for the upcoming 2060 has been leaked. Let's try to read the chicken bones on that one. Link, he out of town, didn't save the Linux gaming Gave him, put him away, cause the children don't play. And also, we explore another instance of Blizzard hating wine. Ah, well, it's just another cheater bitching and moaning. Valve's put out a game. It's still in beta, but Valve put out a game. And in other unlikely uh, event news, Black Mesa shows some zen in video format. It's so bouncy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Vince Stone, joined every week by our team Canadian podcaster, one Jordan Sfang, holding wow. it down in Toronto, and all the way, the man on the island in Britannia himself, and Pedro, is together with you at home, yeah, that's right, hanging out live in the pre-show, that's Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form, as Mike put it, go game Voltron, it is a bit brilliant, before we get Start it, lads. What's up in your life, organs? Uh, Jordan, you 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 did it, man. You threatened I, to do it for like a week and a half, two weeks, and I was like, man, I are got, you really going to spend eighty dollars on a I Pokemon? Caved. I <laughs> caved, and let me tell you, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> the, the, the 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 two minute review of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is they took out a bunch of shit from the previous games that actually made things you know interesting and fun. Uh, they added some new stuff that I think I hope they bring into other games, but it's just a remake of a game I played fucking twenty odd years ago. Mm. It, lo- it looks it looks nice. I'll, I'll I'll give it two chairs. Two chairs. Two mm. chairs. All right. What's up with you, P baby? Are you first? I, I just noticed. I just noticed the cursor on my uh, eye. <laughs> yeah, it, right it, it, it's holding the ridge of my it, nose. It, it, it's Ladies and gentlemen, stuff. boys and girls, that has been there for over an hour. It has. <laughs> I wanted but to see. It. No, I needed to see how long that would take. <laughs> for an hour. Okay. As you were. Yeah. No. I uh, next week I will not be here. You will be quite possibly joined by a certain leprechaun uh who uh well you may know him as mike Tehan, aka mt uh i on the other hand will be very busy putting together some ikea furniture because i'm moving i'm finally freaking moving took it long to enough an I- to an <laughs> ikea right yeah no <laughs> it's actually about as close to work as you can get, because there aren't really any places that you could live in. Did in they Capital let you set up Park? shop in the basement? Is that what you're trying to tell us, man? <laughs> He's living in a van down by the river. If only, if only <laughs> the, the river, the river Thames. I don't know, Cam. But I'm doing a little enough. testing over here at LGC Actual. We got uh, one idea that we're floating around. If you listen to the pre-pre super shows and you have a really good idea of what that idea is, Inception idea Inception. So keep a look out for that next week. You might go, wait, what? What's going on here? It's crazy. Um, outside of that, I've been playing Wolf Exploitation, the game, the new order. I know it's not whitelisted, but it's a Bethesda game. So, I mean, it's never coming to Linux, period, at any point, mm-hmm. ever. <laughs> And I needed something to do because apparently in North America, they eat turkey all day on a particular day. And, well, I didn't really want any part of that. That's a fucking weird game, man. I'm digging it 100%. That game has thrown me for, like, loops. At this point, it's like Wolfception. Uh, it's on sale, too. You can pick it up for, like, 14 what stinky caches. Uh, if you want to burn a heretic purchase. It's on the, it's on the Doom Engine, too, right? Yeah, it's straight Vulcan. Works. Mm-hmm. Like a charm, 980, 1080p, 60 all day long, even in Uber. And yes, Uber is a setting. Like a horse who's Uber each and every week. Look at that segue, dance old man. I, I mean, I mean, I guess we got to lift it up and maybe prop it up and get some content out of it. It's the Steam Linux. So every, everyone claimed that the Steam Link was a feature of Linux gaming. It's not anymore. Um, so we, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. The um, Steam Link hardware uh, is dwindling and we get uh, we get a little article from Valve. It's almost gone. It's completely sold out in Europe, almost completely yep. sold out in the United States. Um, and I mean, I guess they're still handy if you want to set up like a minimal party rig, if you want to play something like Towerfall and you don't want to have a, this uh, standalone set top box. Uh, but this is 
much like a uh, Bethesda or uh, Isometric RPG Kickstarter, this is one of those things where everyone who wanted one already has one now. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. not not to mention that the Steam Link ex- app exists. So now, like you, you could see this being folded into like set top boxes or Nvidia Shields or stuff like this. So, like you you uh, there, there, there's already replacement for it. It doesn't need dedicated hardware. I got a theory on this because. Yeah. These things have been on fire sale. Not once, twice. This is the third time. They're like two bucks right now. Yep. If you can find them available. And Steam has tried to clear out inventory on this thing twice now before this latest autumn sale. Brilliant move, Valve. They said, oh, yeah, we're not going to be making them anymore. Boom. Instant collector's item. <laughs> Everyone who had no intention, they just like, oh, tech hoarding thing, collectible now. It's like when something's classified as retro. It's like uh, the Ouya. Dude, or like the Wii, when Nintendo's like, oh, we're going to quit making the Wii U. Everyone ran out, you know, the game collectors. So I say good on them. Uh, there's probably not going to be any in stock if you don't have one yet. Wah, wah. Yeah. I will honestly, genuinely say I ran across one in box, everything, all kit, nice looking, at a thrift store for one ninety nine last month, and it remained there. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that and eBay are the places to get Steam links for now, until they really start to be uh, scarce. At which point the price will most likely uh, jump up. But yeah, no, the stock apparently, if you are in the UK or anywhere in the EU, if you go to the Steam store, it's just gone. You can't get it no more. Hey man, I'll, so, I'll sell you one for um, 50 quid. I don't want one. 45. enough best, listen, Android best. devices. <laughs> 32 and free shipping. <laughs> Pretty sure even a TV nowadays can run the steam link app <laughs> that is a kind of a questioning thing though i mean yeah they do have an app but uh, does steam know they have an app because i haven't seen any <laughs> updates pushed out for that lately um no. I, I think i think i think i think a lot of that has to do with like the the steam input stuff though because mm. um re- really the steam link app is just like a fancy controller for uh steam input mr Lurt uh, says hey look it, it it's out of stock here too so well, if, if you it, no, look no, at no here more. Check the yeah. map if you're in here. Um, you're here by it. here being California. <laughs> no, no, no. You just open up a map. You say, you are here. Are there any Steam links left? No. Moving no. on. Hey, Sail. it's that time of year. It's the Steam Autism. I mean, Autumn Cell. And, uh, it's... Man, I want to buy me some fresh autism. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I, too, want to be on the spectrum. All right. Go, 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 get, go get a flu shot, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to end November 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific. A uh, couple of things. In, oh, look, Dying Light sale, 60% off. Yeah, you, you, can, you can pick up Morrowind for uh, 10 bucks if you want to try it. Open MW2. Tekken 19. See, this is kind of the problem. I know Tekken is on the whitelist, but come on, half off. You can do better than that. Rocket Cars, nine ninety nine. Go ahead and yoink that if you don't have a copy yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. I shopped around because here's the thing. As with every sale, now... We have a ton of just tons of games between the three of us because kind of what we do. And so there's not a lot of games that we don't have. Do do you uh, find yourself like looking to spin? I was like, I got to buy something. Yes. Yes, I do. I don't know why, but I do. (laughs) I'll I'll, I'll, I'll run. I'll run through it. And if like something I was already interested in, like went on sale for stupid cheap, I'll grab it. But Mm -hmm. again, it's one of those things where all the as as your Steam account ages, these sales have diminishing returns as you buy all the games that go on sale anyways. So you, you already have what you want. Uh, yeah. I, I went shopping. That's where I found Wolfenstein, the new order. Uh-huh. And they, you can get like the whole combo pack with all the uh, missions and stuff like that for under 30 quid. I originally picked up Dark Souls because Pedro was like, it's the best game ever. You'll love it, Vin. It's great. It's the perfect game for you, Vin. I wow, that is so completely you, off. No, you, you 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 literally said it would unclog its colon. It's brilliant. <laughs> you can listen. You can go back and listen to um, Linux Weekly Daily Wednesday's uncut, where he literally said none of that. And <laughs> but anyway, I tried it. I, I wanted to see what it was all about. I've never played a Dark Souls game. So Strider, a Stufu. I've now played a Dark Souls game. I also got a refund for it because. <laughs> 
It it wasn't a hundred percent. Now, granted, I was only feeding it a nine eighty, but at ten eighty, it had that wine herky jerk, which is if you've played games with wine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that intermittent frame stutter every now and then, which just annoys me. So, oh, I guess I should point out with the refunds. I was like, give me a refund valve. Valve was like, hey, we noticed this is Proton. What exactly wasn't working with Proton? Which I, oh, I that, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's that, 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 yeah. That's actually a really <laughs> good, useful feature. God damn. Yeah. Good, good on good on you, Valve. Uh, yeah. Um, what do you call it? If you want to check out Shadow of the Tomb Raider before, well, you know, spoilers. <laughs> that's 50% off. Um, as is uh, Near Automata. Near, yes. near tomatoes. Near automatic uh, tomato. This, this is my, uh, see, I almost, I had myself worked up. Too, because it's maybe like for Christmas for me, <laughs> thirty bucks. I was like, "Come on, you got to buy something. You you know you want this." And it's like, "Man, I really want the game." Then I go read um, on Proton Database. And I'm like, "Yeah, it runs, even though it's on the whitelist. Like, performance isn't that great." Then I did a little further reading, and they say, "Oh, the mod that has been released on Windows to make it run good on Windows doesn't work <laughs> on Linux." I'm like, oh, "I don't know, man. Maybe it's got performance <laughs> issues." Maybe. Yeah, I'm, maybe. I'm actually I'm actually still interested in playing that. I, I really hope they fix yeah, that. Yeah, it looks neat. Yeah. It doesn't look sixty dollars neat. Yeah, no. Uh it's twenty pounds here, and I went, you know what? I'm just going to buy the uh Jedi Knight uh bundle instead, because at least two of those games have uh, engine re-implementations that are native on Linux, and Dark Forces, the first one, is uh on the whitelist now. So not, not, yeah. Not no, not not, not so much them. engine re-implementations though, as in someone leaked the code for the game and they just ported yeah. it. Yeah. Including bits that they shouldn't have. Yes. <laughs> Moving on. Cards Card. against huge manatees. Well, it's uh, Valve putting out a game. Yes. Artifact. It came out. Uh, people have been playing it. And Valve have already uh, received like the first batch of uh, feedback. And, uh, well, they are actually apparently uh, listening to people. And they say that uh, now... Uh, you can play bot matches in Call to Arms without claiming your starter package. Uh, that way, you can try the game and still get a refund if it's not your particular bag. And not, you know, Help have me to... Out. Help me out, Pedro. Have... What, I'm looking at some of the re in the comments. What's <laughs> up with the beta access for pre-order? Yes. What's that about? So, uh, if you want to play Artifact right now, you can, but you have to buy into the beta. That... It's like early access. It's Valve. Come on, they came up with the thing. It's, it shouldn't surprise anyone. But yeah, it's uh, you need to buy the uh, the beta price. Currently, it's uh, fifteen pounds ninety nine, so probably around twenty bucks ish. And yeah, it it's a card game. I'm going to wait until it's uh, till uh, when's it coming out? Uh, November twenty eighth. It, it's it by the time this podcast is out on i think on the on the monday or the tuesday uh it will be out no, uh 20th okay. of november right actually sorry no, it's gonna be out it's gonna be out on wednesday oh wednesday all right okay so yeah uh, it, the, the, i'm going the, to the, wait the, until the, wednesday and see what's up with that the the, the the store is a fucking liar though because i'm looking at the web page and it says available 20th of november this game will unlock in three days i go check my calendar that is not true um one, one of the one of the other things they added um is you can now huck your garbage cards to get event tickets at a rate of 20 to 1 um mm -hmm. i'm not sure how that stacks up money wise because you can buy the event tickets for like five bucks also can you enroll in those drafts that let you keep the cards for no. that so you can no you can't so <laughs> That 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 ins that answers my question. You can't so get new cards. Somebody who you know, like genuinely one hundred percent, I am allergic to these card games. Uh, a lot of the internet screeching was that you had to pay just in order to compete. Have they fixed that, or they're like, no, give us money? Well, that, that that's uh, well, that's the whole that's the whole conceit of the game, right? Is you have to pay to compete. Um, that's how collectible card games work. I don't know these uh, things. <laughs> yeah i mean going into a card game you're expected to at least drop some money but the thing my question is will it be like hearthstone where you have to drop some money in order to even remain relevant or there, are you able to get enough in-game currency to there there, there, there is no in-game there is no in-game currency you get the cards that oh, you get with the starter yeah. pack and the booster packs <laughs> and if you want and if you want more you have to pay uh it's like two bucks a booster pack for 10 cards so right. this is like genuine 100 percent og gambling 
Oh no, it's 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 the fucking magic card business model. So yes, yeah, okay, it's Magic the Gathering, but virtual. Nice. Yep. Designed, right. designed by the same guy who did Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man, talk, talk talk about internet drama though. So, um, Urban Warfare Defense. Uh, they're they're an indie, hugely uh, they, popular they, game with one review on the Steam Store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um and, and any anyways, the developer has noped about what 20,000 keys. Mm-hmm. Um so supposedly this this is because uh Indie Gala has not been paying them their due. And they said, "Oh, well we only we originally only negated the Indie Gala keys that we provisioned." Turns out uh people who got I stand the game corrected, Jordan, the- there have been two reviews. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> we have to hang up our press passes. Um <laughs> But yeah, uh, pe- people who bought the game through uh, in through uh, groupies have been uh, have been reporting that their keys have been revoked as well. So uh, the the developer had to come forward, explain their situation. Now, here's the thing that puzzles me. Normally, in a business relationship, when one party does not hold up their end of the contract, the other party gets a lawyer and sues the former. Um, mm-hmm. In instead, what has happened is they're saying, "Well, if you bought." Because we didn't get paid for these copies of the games that you bought, we're just going to revoke your keys. Now you can you can argue whether or not that was the correct move or not, but that has the effect of pissing off all your customers. Anyone who owns the game now is definitely not going to repurchase the game, even if you give them refunds, because now they don't want their freaking games to get revoked all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. I I know I I would be super cheesed if someone just deleted a game off my account, and I mean that's the risk you run. Buying your games through Steam, you don't own anything in the digital marketplace. Yeah. You have a li- you have a license to it. Regardless, that that being said, there 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 is some reasonable expectation that if you pay for something, you should be able to you know use it. Um. So he. So we we get this. We get this little little quote from the developer. On a side note, I will make sure you guys get your keys back one or another. As it's not your fault. I feel like we've both been screwed over by these sale sites. I mean, it might be a little too late for that, man. You've lost all your goodwill. Yeah. No. You, you got to put the difficulty multiplier in this is this thing that happened on Indie Gala when this was sold was a year ago. Ooh. Yeah. It's 365 days. And, you know, the developer has gotten back to a lot of people. It's like, hey, man, Indie Gala, they didn't pay me. And this, you know, maybe I shouldn't have did that. But, you know, I didn't get my money. And uh, Indie Gala is like, you know what? Shut the fuck up. How about some screenshots from where we paid your bitch ass? Quit lying to people. How about an invoice, motherfucker? Where's your god now? To which the developer has, uh, should we say, not surprisingly, went radio silent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The it, thread on the Steam forums has been bomb. locked. And yeah. Oh, he was also uh, <laughs> removing negative reviews because, of course, mm-hmm. you know, people went rah and all this fun stuff. All right. Yeah, that uh, really makes me think. I mean, I had to sit back and, you know, think this is something I rarely do. Uh, should a developer be able to nuke 20,000 keys without providing to Valve some damn good reasons? I mean, I was thinking because this entire year thing that I, I genuinely meant. Like, that is a weird difficulty multiplier because I don't think the developer should be able to go back and retroactively revoke something, say, net 90, which would be three months out of getting paid. Because if you're not getting paid within three months of something, you got screwed. All right, I feel you on Mm. that. But 12 months later, I don't, you know, I think there should be some types of checks and YOLO in place, right? I yeah. mean, I, 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 ideally, there's, there's like two, there's two parts to that question. Yes, yeah, so I think developers should ultimately be able to revoke keys if like they didn't get any money for it. But check a year but later, I, I, but the, yeah, and and that's the thing. A year later, with like shoddy evidence, eh, how the, the 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 question is how how does one moderate this? And the answer is Valve doesn't want to put in the effort to do such a thing. Mm. Yeah, no, Valve have been trying very hard to do nothing. They've been automating as much as they can to not have to do a damn thing in their own store. <laughs> Why do you hate Gaben? <laughs> I don't, but they have some questionable uh, decisions, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, not putting out certain games. In the meantime, the community has decided to take the mantle upon themselves to put out some games. Oh, and one of oh, those uh, communities was... Um, well, it was Project Black Mesa. And if you've played Project Black Mesa, you know that at the end of the um, the Delta Labs, 
you jump into the portal and uh, sorry, the Lambda complex. Watch out, Steve Irwin. <laughs> the Delta Labs are in Doom Careful, 3. Careful, could get Wrong involved game. in a sting operation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, the moment you jumped into the portal, the uh, the little adventure would end. And they didn't have the Zen levels, and they still don't, but they have video of them. You're looking at it right now if you're watching the video version. If not, you might want to, you know, go to the show notes. There's a... Oh, it's, ball, right it's ball sack boy, my favorite. <laughs> He's so bouncy. Look at him. Look at that ball sack jiggle. So hot. Uh, the uh, the manta rays that uh, fly around in Zen. Uh, there's like a little. It's not a close up. It's just that one flies a little bit too close to the camera at the end of the trailer, and they have such a derpy face. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I mean, man manta rays already have derpy faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like. If, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just waiting. Yeah, bouncy boy. Yeah, ball sack. I love this guy. Um, he's he, he is. I, I want a game where you can play as that dude, man. No, no. Just debug everyone to death. Now, the reason we're bringing this up, and this is a little bit uh, show worthy, is this is to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the release of Half Life. That is something mm -hmm. that just recently happened. And on the YouTube trailer, they do mention Zen. Don't don't start laughing. Uh, it is targeted. They're tote serious for release in Q2 of 2019. To which I'll say before anyone goes whatever. At least we know for a fact that Black Mesa Zen will not be delayed again <laughs> until Q2 2019. <laughs> Or, or at, least, at least until end of fucking time. <laughs> or at least until end of Q1. At least until end of Q1. Oh, no, no. Uh, I think they'll wait for like maybe three, possibly four days before the... So Q2 2019, that ends on June the 30th? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, to, to be fair, Black Mesa is going at a better clip than Half-Life 3 is... Hmm. Not say, it's not saying much, but you know, in terms I of Half Life, pro li listen on, on, on the relative scale of Half Life projects, they're moving at light speed. <laughs> Unless you're, uh, you know, in the cast of The Walking Dead, uh, yeah, you can't really move any slower than Dead Coral. <laughs> um, Coral A17, man, official early release notes. This is zombie survival. This game is been in early access and steam on linux was a, ever a thing a couple of things in here the only one that i really noticed i don't know how long this has been in there i just kind of stumbled across it was the addition of vulcan and the launcher which i tried and pedro it might need a little work <laughs> it might because i saw your little screenshot in the just, notes just, just a little <laughs> it's, it's it's so pink yeah, i mean unless you, you really like pink and that's the only fucking color if you can only see in two colors black and pink mm -hmm. this game's got you covered with the vulcan right? oh yeah <laughs> finally something targeted to my demographic finally <laughs> oh man uh i tried the open every time i try this I'm like, D does it not run like poo and to which the A17 release responded, nay, <laughs> still run like poo. So uh, this game has been out, I don't know, since 2015. Yeah, out. Uh, 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you have a game in alpha for three years. Listen, you, you, sh you shut your filthy whore like mouth, complete. man. A PUBG is now officially in beta testing instead of... Uh, I'll, 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 also, Shroud of the Avatar would like to have a word with you. Uh, yeah, no, Shroud of the Avatar is awful, but at least that one is out of early access. Damn it, I need a graphic word. It just anymore. has me and it says laugh, <laughs>, laughs in Star Citizen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about after I crawl out of my pile bit. of money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, I too am looking forward to that 100 gigabyte download that I'll have to run through Proton. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Um, Spe uh, speaking, speaking of which, uh, we, we, we got we got some uh, we got some news from the feral, the cat, the the, wow. the leopard. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider coming to Mac OS and Linux in 2019 to the surprise of everyone involved. <gasps> yeah, watch those monocles drop, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
but so I mean, there, there there's some question of whether this was going to happen or not. Uh, what with Proton, uh, what with a lot of work being done in the XVK to support Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You know, to be fair, I think it was more on the table of whether or not this should happen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my 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 operating theory is that um like so, sometime in like 2016 or whatever. Farrell came to Warner Brothers or whoever's public, uh, uh, is it IDOS still? Squeenix. I don't, I don't, Squeenix, yes. Squeenix, Squeenix IDOS. Squeenix, yeah. Yeah, and, and said, hey man, uh, we want to port your Tomb Raider games to Mac OS and Linux. And we got a contract that says we will port the next three or four games or whatever. And this is just fulfillment of that contract. Mm-hmm. Um, then you brought up uh, you brought up a good point though. This is going to be the first time we're going to get a real real meat and potatoes comparison for indirect X we're versus going, uh, uh, head to head, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be um, rendering deathmatch. We're going to see uh, indirect X with its VK dangly bits versus uh, DX VK, and also having to genuinely wonder as we sit aside with our popcorn, going, how performant will this game be by the time Feral gets their version released? The, the the other thing yeah. is consistency, right? Because Feral Feral historically has some problems with uh, the AMDs. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Are 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 we going to have a situation where Sh- uh, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider runs better on uh, through Proton for AMD cards and then n- better natively for Nvidia or Intel? That's that's going to be the that's going to be the real fucky question. I don't know, man. I, I I hit Feral up way back, not way back when, a couple of months back. Uh, some other game. I was like, you know what would be really nice, uh, considering that Ryzen was the best-selling CPU period of 2017, and it's going to be 2018 as well, that you could test and kind of give some system requirements so I didn't have to do, you know, napkin math in order to figure out, it's like, where should I be here? And they're like, oh, LOL, Intel. But one thing I want to wonder, what I really do wonder, did their contract with the WB, the Volna Brothers and their sister Dot, eat a bag of dicks? Because we haven't heard a peep about shadow of war shadow of war or uh or ba- I, th- I think that may have ended with batman yeah mm. yeah the, the, maybe the, the batman, batman was kind of the nail on that particular coffin mm. which is a shame because i would have liked to well, see that, uh definitely shadow wasn't feral's fault that game ate but like so bad it was yes. pulled from the steam <laughs> store you know twice <laughs> that was completely the developer's fault mm. uh the original developers and it's yeah, a shame fair. Well, and then and that was the other thing too was that it was garbage coming out from the developers, and then Farrell had to fix it. Now, yeah, oh. you, <laughs> no. hard hard mode. I, I got a predicament because we know Valve basically, as we've addressed on multiple occasions, gives zero fucks about what goes on. Mm-hmm. What if this gets whitelisted? I don't think it. We will. need a button. No, you don't we think it will because you were applying logic <laughs> and forethought to this. Mm. Two things Valve is not known for. <laughs> True. No, we need a button. And I think uh, Pierre Lupe is aware that people are saying that we need a button. Yes, but he's also French, so if enough people demand it, he'll <laughs> instinctively not do it. Also, also, you got to make sure that you don't request these things in around the full moon because then he turns into the loop guru and right. wanders the French countryside. <laughs> it's also a true story. Trying to kill sheep. 100% verified. <laughs> LGC games. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes. Coming up next, we explain how to kill werewolves that are roaming the French countryside, killing your wealth, your livestock. And also we talk about NVIDIA for a couple minutes. You people. Yes. You. You're awesome. And this month, do, if you do keep you it and up. Nori ever like have that argument? Do you like you people? Uh well, we there's the whole thing about us being the filthy immigrants over here, but yeah, that's our little in joke. So tell, tell us more about what your neighbors say about those filthy immigrants who live next door. I'm sure I'm sure we can bleep maybe sixty percent of it. Uh, no, no. Let's just uh, tell people how they could go about being so awesome and uh, you know letting us do some t-shirts soon. No. <laughs> No. no, 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 no t-shirts allowed. Um, if, 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 if you listen, if, if you're shirtless, you can head on over to LinuxGameCats.com. Click the support Linux button. LinuxGameCats.com. A yes. new property of LGC. Did I, did, did, I, did I say cats? I thought did, I said did, cats. Yes. Right, Linux well, game what, cats. I, I, I mean, listen, it's, it's our sister podcast done exclusively by furries. That's also very good content. You should check that out. Um, Mia. Linux game. 
Yeah, uh, you can head over to the contact page, or not the contact page, the fucking support page. You're making my brain not work anymore. Uh, click on a bunch of Amazon affiliate links, New Egg affiliate links. Maybe you want to buy some uh, bundles off of Humble so that you can avoid being a heretic. You can go through our affiliate link and give us some support along the way. Hey, I want to throw extra thanks to everyone uh, shopping through the affiliate links, especially during the holiday season. You guys are blowing oh, yeah. us up on that. Black Black Metal Friday, yeah. Black Metal Friday. Um, but <laughs> uh, you, you, yeah, you can also head on over to Patreon.com slash link. Oh, wait, I, I, I guess we go. We also got a wish list. If That's you what it was. Buy. Samsung. Check it out. If you're at home playing the home game, one terabyte, 127 from Samsung. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty good. Ven, Ven, Ven really wants one of those Amazon Fire tablets so you can set up an OBS control surface. I already have you one. Can, all right. Well, you can buy him another one so he has. Ooh, 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 don't worry about it. We're over the threshold. Yeah. yeah so oh, uh, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Oh, my God. If we can close out the month above this number or equal to this number, then you get some LGC t-shirts that we have to then sit down and fucking design. So <laughs> yep. go, go make us do some work. Um, <laughs> you, 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 gotta, you also get a bunch of cool stuff for uh, being a Patreon, like Discord access. You get access to the show notes. You can play games with us. Well, you can they watch I, uh, uh, our sister podcast, Linux Game Cats? Game Cats? Yes. You absolutely wow. can. That, 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 that one, you don't need to join the Patreon for. You just got to go to that one forum that we're not going to tell you about. Just be honest. Oh, I can yeah. smell it from here. It's, it smells like body glitter. It smells of sweat and regret. <laughs> just like Pedro. Um, <laughs> uh, we, 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 got, we, we, got, we got a brand new executive producer. We got a, we got, we got a, we got a shout out today. Uh, Drum, Drummer7 uh, has given us a bunch of money. Thank you so much, Drummer. He was hanging out with us a little bit after the uh, food bar last night. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah he, might, he might show up for some rocket cars if he can buy it on sale. Who knows? Um, so I guess, I guess we got to talk about. Well, Nvidia I do want to throw in. Uh, oh. Check it out. Oh, look. Oh, Twitter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, too much Twitter. Thank you. Yay. That's super cool. But hey, man, you get access to our pre-pre super shows. And we record that at 830 Eastern Standard yes. Moon Time. If you're in our Discord, you can hop in, listen, you can chime in. And, and even if you want to voice your opinions, you can do that at the executive producer level. Or you can just chat back and forth while we talk shop. That is uh, the closest thing to being adult and or responsible that we do each and every week. But you bring us this show, and we're able to bring you weekly, daily Wednesdays, plus four other days of our nonsense. And we always invite everyone to come in, and it lets us uh, do hardware stuff. And I try to do some reviews and uh, how tos. And Pedro sometimes, uh, when he's not busy moving, will tell you all about his new Raspberry Pi because I just threw it down. Yes, I mean the the, the box is right here. It is. <laughs> That's going to be well, his well, full does, review of it. Is does it does it taste like raspberries? <laughs> There will be a review of it once I uh, get a chance to, you know, get everything set up in the new place. Sam, but Pedro doesn't run Crisis. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> As per our court order, we got to talk about NVIDIA. Yes, and it's a, it's a true LGC uh, news segment because we have some drivers, yes. It's the, uh, the roundup of... Uh, Basically, what NVIDIA has been doing lately, and version 415.18, uh, the recent stable short-lived branch is available for your downloads right now. Uh, they fixed a couple of bugs, and as Jordan points out in the notes, it is uh, basically just them rolling everything that they had the last couple of uh, betas for the 415s into the stable driver, which is good, because... Well, the 410 driver is still busted when it comes to my 1080. But hey, at least now I can use the 415s in the Solus repos, which means I don't have to use the uh, little binary thingy that they provide. As Just, opposed to the other binary thingy that Solus repos install. Unless you're using Nuvo, are you, Pedro? Is that why Dark Souls crashes so much? <laughs> I don't think Dark Souls would run if I was running Nuvo, but okay. <laughs> oh man, everyone get back and watch uh, Pedro Kent PCP, we like to call it, Pedro Kent Proton. Um, I, I would say we only ate about 80% as much shit as he did on Tuesday. It was, um, mm -hmm. if you, <laughs> I still got to publish our Charlie attempts at murder. Jill joined us for that. And man, that game still got problems too. Um, yeah. I will say I'm running them right now. They, they work? Question mark. Shrug emoji. I don't know really what to say about that. Uh, good to know it's there, but Let's talk about the new hotness. Ooh, rumors. Oh. Access. Ooh, booga booga. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 
2060? Yeah, that's <laughs> big, man. Benchmark results spotted. Thank you for leaking these, NVIDIA, but I wish you would have leaked a better benchmark because mm -hmm. this is, what game was this? It's Final Fantasy XV, mm -hmm. whatever the hell that is. It's Final Fantasy XV, which is notorious for being shit. It was <laughs> tested at UHD, quit calling it 4K. Um, the 2060 is beating in this one benchmark at this one resolution, the WX9100 Radeon and the Radeon mm -hmm. Pro Vega 56. I know I'm annoying people at home. I'm, you know what I'm doing. The G, GeForce GTX 1070 Max Core design. So <laughs> it's a laptop less, one. Yes. Less, yeah. less QQ, Max QQ. Pew, pew, baby. Um, and basically everything above it is stomping the jabezus. Not really, but you're looking. I mean, the top of this chart is at the 2070. Going all the way down to, I mean, th th this is on par with your 1070. Uh, it's on par with, it's a little bit slower than a 1080, as it should be. Uh, a little bit slower than RX Vega. But um, what really caught me off guard here is where a 980 Ti still stacks up in 2018. <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it's, it's not uh, even halfway down this chart. It's... <laughs> that, 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 that's pretty decent what 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 i don't know if you if you go up a couple of trees what the hell is nvidia graphics device i want to know that that that's got the internet buzzing right there they're like oh that's probably whatever the mobile variant or or or, or, or maybe maybe it's this uh 10 or 2060 ti who knows could be i don't know could man. be um it for me because i'm in a weird ass spot man i got the 980 and i'm digging it but if I'm going to, I really want to get a hold to the 20 series uh, NV encode, that bit of hardware. I'm that one person in the entire fucking world that wants that. But I don't want to, you know, pay that mad cash for essentially a card that's going to butt a robot. So mm -hmm. we can do things like stream in 1080 and we can just move everything over to 1080p without, you know, curb checking the Ryzen. And I want to do that on the cheap. And if they can manage to get this out of the box, and into my little grubby hands for sub $300 because I don't want something slower than the 980. Yeah, that's the thing. The sub $300 market's a bit uh, crowded because mm -hmm. you have the 1060, you have all of the AMD uh, RX 480, 580, um, 590 even. So if you... Ah, uh, if you put out this card below that, maybe people will look at that, but it it's going to be a very hard sell at anywhere above 350. I mean, is this anything other than NVIDIA just going, man, we're just going to cover everything? <laughs> no, well, they're releasing the 950. It's the 950 all over again. It's the Y card. It's why no, would you buy this? No, Pedro, the Y, the Y bone or the Y card is going to be the 2060 Ti. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I mean, do that. I, I, for, I, for one, am looking forward to the uh, 2050 Ti because that's going to be a hella wicked budget card. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe. I mean, I want, I want that if, if it doesn't explode. NV and COVID. yes, <laughs> if it doesn't catch fire like right. the 2080 Ti. <laughs> but I mean, this thing is going to have to be, and that's kind of the weird thing because Nvidia is definitely in the spot of like we charge what we want. What are you going to do? Like, uh, bitch. That's about all we can do. So <laughs> uh, uh, I would like something where I could keep like the 980 for just like doing lossless recording mm -hmm. and have that. But I I started looking because apparently you got to do it for under $300 because if we're just looking at performance on eBay, I can get a 980 Ti. People pay attention to just like go look at all the benchmarks for a performance bump for 250 all day long. Used. Yeah. And that's apparently still a halfway decent card for 1080p gaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, well that, that, that was the thing with the Black Friday sales was uh, there were a bunch of like 580s and 570s on sale for dirt cheap. And if you want to just do 1080p gaming, then, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's kind of you're, you're in kind of the, the sweet spot right now where you can just pick up a decent performing card for dirt cheap. And if you do have a UHD monitor, as it turns out, 1080 Ti curbs anything that's on that graphic. So, yeah, no, not a very good leak there, NVIDIA. 
2080 Ti. I don't regret my purchase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. Blam! Yeah, yeah I've been like, boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the lights went out. I can't see. All right. Uh, let's get ready to humble. Yes, the Jumbo uh, Indie Bundle 12 is now available, and it has some Linux titles. You get uh, Pinstripe, uh, Rise and Shine on the uh, one or more. If you pay more than the average, you get uh, Construction Simulator 2015, and, uh, well, if you pay more than 10 bucks, well... You don't get any Linux games unless, of course, you are uh, playing with the Protons in Wild War, uh, Wild West mode, which admittedly... Partnering with Linux games is yeah, so disturbing to see. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but yeah, no, if you, if, you want, if you want to see if Derp 4 runs well on Proton, you can check that out. They, they, added, they actually added another Linux game. Uh, earlier in the week, it was just two. If you wanted to pay a dollar, you could get two Linux games. They added one to the, um, they added one to the $5 segment. Uh, that what 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 do you what do you call it? Um, no, construction, construction simulator was there on day one. Was yeah, it? yeah. Uh, right. The yeah. only reason I know that is because I got it and I was like, I didn't even bother installing it. I, like, right. I do it, not. Oh, care. Yeah. oh, you know what? It might it may have been one of the other one. pinstripe or rise and shine. Anyways, um, anyway, anyways, that's not anyways. that great a deal. Uh, but, you know. Dirt four. I can tell you that it works. I played through the tutorial and I realized exactly why people were saying that it's not very good. They basically went the uh, dirt showdown way of. Uh, Did they try to make it like, more arcadey to attract a broader audience and fail in both aspects? No, uh, they. Uh, if you tried any of the other dirt games and it had that stupid announcer that you couldn't uh, get rid of, you can't. You just can't mute it. Uh, yeah. It's there again. It's why would you do that? Why? That is the most bitchy, nitpicky thing I've heard this week. Oh, it's, oh, it's hold, bad. Hold, 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 it's hold bad. on to your underoos, Ben. <laughs> oh, listen, Eric, man. Yeah. I know I just, Pedro's brain just my challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the hey, challenge is 10 bucks. Do you That's how much you have to pay if you want to do so? Hopeful, motherfucker. Uh-uh. <laughs> all, right, all right. So we, 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 we did our requisite NVIDIA shilling. So now it's time to talk about some AMD stuff. The Smock Zero, the Schmuck Zero, is apparently headed into mass production in early 2019, according to this WCCF Tech article, the links to all of which you can find in our show notes. More of a rundown of, hey, did you not hear about the Schmock Zero and its fucking legion of empty broken promises? Well, here's a recap of what the hardware is going to be like until they refactor it. They so stole here's their the tagline. Yeah. <laughs> So here's um, so here here here's a couple things I noticed. They give you two videos, both of which show the same pre-recorded gameplay footage, uh, which is always a good sign. And I, I I feel we have we have a we have a couple things. It remains to be seen if number one, a warehouse fire doesn't destroy all the units, mm -hmm. um, so that unfortunate so they can file a claim against their insurance. B, there are power and thermal issues at the wazoo that will cause it to like give you third degree burns on your hands or lap. <laughs> and C, if the performance is just straight up garbage. Either way, um, here's the, here's the thing. Like, like we were talking about before with isometric RPGs and Steam Links, the people who are going to buy this already backed the Kickstarter. This is not going to mm -hmm. sell much beyond that. Aside as like a aside of being like a collector's item, like your Steam Links or your well, Booyahs. I mean, you get it's going to be an AMD Ryzen V sixteen oh five B Vega eight. 8 gigajoules of RAM, 256 gigabytes of hard drive, SSD. It's M.2. All right. Um, M.2 SATA, probably. And I, I think at this point, they basically said, what? We, we never said anything about this thing running Linux, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, quit making <laughs> well, stuff up. I, I, I don't know. According to this, the Schmach OS Linux-based distribution is in the is in the spec list. So uh, Probably just an oversight by marketing. They forgot to take it out. Uh, uh Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's very clearly <laughs> no, Windows see, 10 and all the screenshots. The thing that caught my eye was that uh, they have, um, uh, you could say 45 euros if you don't need the camera. There are also several colors to, sh uh, to choose from, uh, from the default deep black, radioactive green, pearl white, indigo, and red fire don't come with any additional fees, unlike the zombie skin for 27 euros, or the priciest of them all, golden, for 99 euros dude check this oh, out oh, though, oh, oh, the no, ultimate ultra mega smash chicken is 
come on, you, you might want to save that, you know, 50, 50 pounds, 989 euros. Mm-hmm. So we, we we need to put that on that wish list. Someone needs to buy Pedro a fucking gold plated schmuck. <laughs> hey, hey, we need to ask for a review copy and be like, we've always done nothing but support your product. Uh, how how many weaves we've mentioned you... your product on right. all of these episodes? Don't look it up. <laughs> how how many weaves could you get for nine hundred eighty nine euros? Um, uh, almost ten. <laughs> may, 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 maybe because um, p- people like used weaves still go for like people who like smash and whatnot. So yeah, but uh, it's around a hundred euros ish. Yes. Okay. How many uh, new? Uh, what's the new ones? Uh, switches. Yeah, those switches. Two, two. two. You, can, yeah, you could two. buy. T- you could buy it's a two, two Nintendo Switch, which you require if you want to trade Pokemon on an eighty dollars Pokemon game, plus the online subscription fee. I'm not Ooh. salty about that. No, no, not oh, at all. Nintendo has joined Sony and Microsoft in the online subscriptions. Yes. Good times. <laughs> yes. If you if you want to trade Pokemon, it's twenty dollars a month for fucking Nintendo Online. Hey, speaking of subscriptions. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Um, Vendetta Online. Look at this. Uh, look at this wonderful web page that is totally not an email that they sent out. Bracket user ID close brace. Uh, <laughs> no, but they. Um, th- 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 this is uh, from the Vendetta Online newsletter. They're doing a big old engine overhaul. You can see from that little animated GIF, it looks a lot nicer than the pixely bullshit they currently have. Also. Um, so th- they uh, they they want to have stuff like persistent destructible environments, um, a bunch a bunch of cool space mining stuff. This is if you haven't played Vendetta online before, it's basically an open source Eve online, except not taken over by the something awful forum. Um, mm-hmm. But they, they they want destructible environments. They want a bunch of stuff that they're going to need to completely revamp their engine for, and so they are going to use Vulcan. Uh, this is apparently going to be released in 2019 alongside a major game expansion. Um, Here's the thing, though. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, Vendetta supports like a bunch of platforms. You can play it on like Android. You can play it on iPhone. So m- moving everything to Vulcan kind of makes sense. It keeps everything consistent. They only need one code path. Um, and honestly, I downloaded uh, Vendetta just to remind myself what the hell it was. And it's an SDL 1.2 app. So you just lose your second monitor if you got one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it, it, it's 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 in sore need of uh, some love. Well, kind of like what they threw out there, man. They were talking. Now they're also talking about the feeding of the graphics and everything. It's going to support. They're working on, you know, anything from eight core to thirty two core. And it's good to see any development house going. Hey, man, these things they're a thing now. You hear that, game developers? You hear that? Even Intel makes an eight core part. That's well, it's still stupid expensive, but less stupid expensive. Thanks, AMD. Um, but you know, back to Vulcan, you know, they, they're looking at it the right way, man. They say, you know, it's a single cross platform standard. It's going to be easier to maintain instead of dealing with like separately with DirectX, OpenGL, OpenGL ES, and all the various, yeah, bullshit. And it's like, let's just do Vulcan right that once. Boom. I mean, it's going to be a little work up front, but outside of that currently right now, though, (laughs) want, want bad news is the Vulcan render is experimental for windows only for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I hope it's just a few minutes. <laughs> I mean, not that I really care, because this was uh, possibly the only MMO on Linux that I looked at and said, oh, it requires a subscription to play. And nope. Mm-mm. Brace user ID, close brace. What are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, going from something that's actually gone open source right now, um, we have the Delver engine. And if you're wondering what that is, well, Delver is a Minecraft looking, very pixely video game that's currently available on Steam. You can buy it. It's on sale right now. It's like 50% off. But the developers have decided to open source the engine. And, well, it's uh, it needs Java. That There's that. Uh, it very much is relying on the IntelliJ bits. And everything that you need in order to build your own game based on this engine is available on their GitHub. And this is good. This is just very good, uh, regardless of how you feel about that particular uh, Sun Microsystems developed technology. And <laughs> which, you can... Which, uh, which, 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 by the way, folks, if you're going to be upgrading to Java 11, use OpenJDK, because there's some really fucky licensing for Oracle JDK 11. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't use it. 
<laughs> um, but but yeah, like it, it's it. This is like a first person uh, Elder Scrolls, Eye of the Beholder, Pool of Radiance type game. Uh, done with the voxel style. I mean, like Pedro said, it's good that they're open sourcing the engine, so now people mm-hmm. can you know do stuff with it. Um, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't have the same ira- as, as someone who works with Java apps uh, like professionally. I don't have the same irrational hatred that these two do. But um, I mean, I it, used it, to it, play it's, Minecraft. It's, I know just how bad it is. Before you go do <laughs> any of that, Amazon's also got their own. Uh, they just did that earlier this week. Their own licensed version of Java to check out as well. So wait, IBM has one, Oracle has one, Amazon has Oracle one. Oracle has open... two, technically, because OpenJDK is still based on the Oracle. Welcome back to Linux JavaCast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you, you get a bunch of developers and sysadmins in a room, you bring up technical shit, and you don't expect them to hey man, talk about it? Game engines Shock. going open source is a brilliant thing. It helps mm-hmm. ensure their longevity 20 years from now. Yes. All right. Uh, and their improvement. improvement. And you can do crazy, weird bullshit like this. With game engines, <laughs> SRB2 card, 1.0. It's out. This is this is being our show notes. We threw it in Discord earlier. This is Sonic Racers, man. And it works. And it's really, really incredibly well done, Pedro. Yes, yes, it is. So incredibly well done that I'm surprised that neither Sega's nor Nintendo's lawyers have said anything about it yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, like, I, I, actually, actually, Sega's been Sega's been pretty good about Sonic fan stuff for the most part, and Nintendo just own just th- doesn't have anything to do with the, with Sega anymore. They're not like the exclusive publisher of Sega, Sega games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, but that that's uh, that's Mario Kart. Anyone I, I mean, looking at that's gonna go. That's Mario Kart. No, wait, that wait, is that Sonic? <laughs> it's Sonic I, driving I, I, around I, I, Mario Kart. This is like uh, Mario Kart on the SNES. I mean, basically the same physics, but you get to play mm-hmm. as uh, Sonic and a couple other characters. Yeah. <laughs> really important is it has it's multiplayer. We think, we we assume it it has a thing that says, "Well, we're gonna try it in the after shows." And, but single player, I tried it, installed it, didn't have a problem with it. I had to install SDL Mixer 2, DOS, part two of the sequel. I had one installed. I don't know why it needed two. Don't, don't write me about that. I know what I just said. Um, I liked it. It's really fun. I had some problems. The controls seemed a little off because I was whenever I tried to turn, I just drifted out of control. So I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm fishing out an Xbox controller. Hopefully, I'll be able to not suck at it when we try this in the after show. If the networking <laughs> works, period. Please don't. Let it well, if you're one works. of our Patreons and you uh, joined us for the uh, pre pre super shows, and you may have heard me complain that the game was sec faulting a little bit, and that's because the uh, version of libgme that's in Solus is a bit too new. So compiling a slightly older version and uh, just linking that to the uh, the game's folder, yeah, no, that works. You should have just ran it in a VM like a normal person then. No, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, g- g- given given that this is like a Doom mod, it will probably run fine in a virtual machine. <laughs> yeah, just run it under Wine. Ooh, I bet it probably would have ran under Wine if you're being. Yeah, it probably would have run yeah. under Wine just fine. <laughs> Yeah, pro, pro, Proton if you're mad, nasty. <laughs> All right, so close off our new segment. Oh my God, shock among shocks. Uh, this is a Reddit post from uh, Linux underscore gaming. Um, ATZ00 said that um, they got banned from Overwatch for playing on the Linuxes. Uh, lo and behold, that wasn't actually a thing that happened. Uh, he he was playing it through Wine on, I believe it was Arch Linux. I don't know. He, did, he, did, he didn't say it, in, say it in the beginning, so he's probably not using Arch. Um but yes, um, he was using a, uh, a it's a it's a utility for scripting mouse clicks, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. is a bit of a no no. Um, Blizzard doesn't want you to do this. Uh, he, there there there's some discussion in the thread. Apparently, apparently, uh, what Blizzard specifically doesn't want you to do because he wasn't like doing anything like wall hacking or aimbotting. Uh, he may have been trying to lock in his. Uh, character in overwatch before anyone else gets a chance to and that sort of runs against the overwatch design principle you're supposed to be able to switch between multiple characters mm-hmm. and still play um so activision wants to discourage this kind of behavior and yes if you're going to be using a utility in a game to automate stuff that has anti-cheat enabled you know you're you, you're kind of absorbing the risk there caveat emptor of your ass getting banned 
No, yeah. man, listen, I, I found a life hack. I found a way to cheat without getting detected because no, possibly a game that isn't Linux native. Nobody in that entire company or development studio have tested uh, it. None of them run Linux. They don't know what a Linux is. Ha ha, I got a way around it. And as Strider pointed out um, in Discord, he's like, yo, he's using auto clicker, which I'll say, yeah, man, you're using auto clicker. You got caught. And one thing, you know, it's not life finds a way. Cheaters try to find a way and they often fuck up. And when they <laughs> fuck up, they go, oh man. And this is not just wine. You see this. I, I love some of the best, best things I've ever seen were on Reddit. And I got banned from CSGO. Usually it's a VAC ban. So you're like, I didn't mm-hmm. do anything or Blizzard. I did it. Then a developer, uh, somebody works for the company you come in and like, motherfucker here. Let me just lay this out. Exactly all this <laughs> bullshit that you've done. And then you'll get like, well, it was worth a try, right? Yeah. You know, to get, um, <laughs> it's the, it's the purple scorpion thing, right? Like, I why 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 am I why am I getting murdered by this purple scorpion man all the time? No, yeah. <laughs> but you got to take this with a cup of chainsaw, mainly because in the past, wine has legitimately triggered some bullshit. Especially yes. with Blizzard, especially uh, with Diablo three, mm. where people were banned for over a year for just playing it with wine and blizzard was saying no 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 it's not because of wine it's because they were cheating and then they went oh shit you can run into Turns these out things the man. Was we saw a couple of weeks ago with proton with the uh what was soul it caliber. soul caliber soul, soul yeah. Caliber, yeah yeah the the in, in that case though it wasn't proton's fault that was uh the steam play integration fucking up the leaderboards mm-hmm. and uh yeah so you know you know you know what ven you you do have a point sometimes sometimes it is a legitimate issue but Sometimes it's just whiny bitches trying to get their way. That's that's, that's the thing. We don't need to sow confusion. I mean, if it's a legitimate problem, it's something that can be addressed on the developer side and also on, from the wine team. We don't need, like, oh, maybe I was running something else too, but I forgot to mention that and see if I can get away. Go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. No. Indeed. Coming up <laughs> next, we try to sneak around a building and then trigger a bunch of guards and get shot a bunch. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to the Chairquisition. <laughs> what a funny story. This is where we take a game and we give it a one or pass-fail score for does it launch performance, graphics, and control. <laughs> and then and then we rate it on one to four chairs based on how much we liked it. <laughs> wow, you, funny you story, actually Mark. managed to make me want Tommy Wiseau. I know. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, all we could book was Greg Sestero. You know, honestly, um, I didn't ask because he, he might have shown up. Hundred percent. Anyway, anyways, we're we're, we're, throwing, we're throwing chairs at Mark of the Ninja, the remastered edition. It's by Clay Entertainment. It's done on the Shank Two engine. Uh, you can pick it up for about twenty USD. If you already own the original Mark of the Ninja, you can buy it for five bucks just to get the upgrade. So let's get on with this. Uh, so Ven, did it did it work on it? Ladies please? and gentlemen, I tried it on eighteen oh four LTS dot whatever it is. Uh, we got a Ryzen seventeen hundred with a nine eighty. You would expect a game of this uh, vintage. To run quite well and well let's just say out of the box it launched uh unlike the well non-remastered version it does launch into the wrong monitor and nuke all your other monitors hashtag old stl but the remastered version not a problem right monitor right resolution and it holds a solid 60 at 1080p and uhd except when it don't you know sometimes like depending on the hour of the day or what shoes you happen to be wearing and he'll just nosedive into the 40s, like maybe every 10 seconds. Like you can set a metronome to it. Very annoying. However, you can resolve this by changing your shoes or restarting the game or changing the <laughs> resolution in the game. Or they added a thing in one of the latest betas to load the entire level, switching that on and off. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it will sort itself out and the game will once again become playable. You can reliably cheese it into becoming playable. Uh, it's graphics, it's dark and flashy at the same time. It's amazing. For us, the controls, uh, the new goodness is Steam Controller. Worked out of the box, no issues whatsoever. Right buttons, I was a happy, happy Vin. But I would give it a solid three chairs for makes with working, but I do have to ding it for the random and unexplained performance dip, and I'm not the only one that has been brought up in their forums. 
<laughs> yeah, on uh, Fedora 2864 bit with the i7 6700K GTX 1080Ti, it definitely does launch. Yes, sir. Bob Rudy Majigger. Um, performance wise, uh, I played it just at UHD because I wanted to see what the UHD remaster looks like. Uh, Runs smoothly. I got 60 FPS. I guess I didn't have any random performance hits. Hashtag Wintel. Um, <laughs> Yeah, gra- graphics wise, the animated cutscenes give me some like new grounds flashbacks, and that's that's not a bad thing. Uh, I just haven't seen that style of animation in a while. It's just like, man, I remember Flash back when that was an art. Um, control wise, it works out of the box with the PlayStation 4 controller, although it does still give you the Xbox prompts. Uh, beyond that, I'm giving it a solid four chairs. It, run, it runs fine for the remaster. Hey, it, does, it lets me use both my monitors too. That's a plus. <laughs> Yeah, and over here uh, on Solus with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 5 6, uh, 1600, it starts right up, but the, the performance, when it tanks, it tanks like the Panzer VIII, uh, it's actually jarring to see because the game goes, oh yeah, look, everything is pretty smooth, and all of a sudden, oh god uh yeah no when you have that jarring a transition from 60 to 40 it's it's pretty bad the graphics they look very crisp and you can actually see your character while you're hidden which is an improvement on the first one and i guess that's where the uh the focus of this particular remaster went into the controls Yes, the quick time event kills are still just as responsive as they were last time, but more on that later. Over here with the uh, 8-bit do NES Pro controller, it uh, it worked. So yeah, it gets three chairs out of me. <laughs> All right, well there you go. Play it on Intel if you don't want random performance drops. Uh, what about fun? Did you have fun then playing this game? <laughs> Kind of like Hitman, this game has a little thing that I like to call a nope cascade, and that's where one little fuck up will screw you over so hard, one little mistake, it can trigger a tsunami of guards, and that's basically the same, like, two or three guard models you're going to be dealing with in this, and they will fuck your shit up, Brad, basically. The game itself is repetitive as hell, and I mean, it really sinks in somewhere around, like, the two hour of oh, hi, Mark of the Ninja. <laughs> you're pressing X to stab respects, and... Gotta agree with you, Pedro. It, it, it's kind of annoying. Uh, really doesn't add anything to the game. It's like, why, why is this here? Why is this a thing? And um, you're only doing that when you're not uh, just kind of hurry up and wait because it's patience. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at patience. You got to be good at patience to play Oh High Mark at the Ninja. Uh, it does provide you with a bag of tricks to overcome situations that are designed exactly for the bag of tricks, which you were given. Uh, when this game first came out on Linux, it was kind of busted because the always run mechanic, you know, part of being a ninja, part of being silent. Yeah, that button was taped up down. So you're always running. And I, I think the three of us are like, why do we keep getting killed instantly? Then, oh, oh, that, uh, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. that really sucked. But um, even after that was sorted, uh, there was still a lot of like OMG new game on Linux at the time. And myself, I, I was able to overlook a lot of the shortcomings of the original Ohio Mark of the Ninja. It's like, cause, hey, we're getting games again on Linux. This is brilliant. However, in 2018, uh, we got a gang of games and a lot more incoming. So revisiting this, mm, I don't know if it was necessarily a good idea for their HD remake. You know, even with that code of HD, it's still kind of boring. It's not much to it. You know, I got right up to the two hour mark putting into it. It's like, eh. Anyway, how fucking ever, if you've been waiting, dying, just longing for a remaster of Bitch Ninja McBagatrix, and you have the original, and I stress, already have the original, go ahead and pick this up. I mean, it's four ninety nine. You get to play it again. You could kill two hours and not necessarily hate yourself. Hmm? So, but if you're looking at the iron price, fourteen ninety nine for the whole kit, can't recommend it. Gonna have to throw one at it. Yeah, I'm I'm with Pedro. Uh, he brought up the quick time event assassinations. I don't really feel that they add anything. Origami had it right, where if you just get the right position, you just press the button. Otherwise, it's like, press, assassinate. Oh, shit, I actually got to do something. Quick time events, mm-hmm. my favorite thing in games since ever. Um, the sneaking gameplay is actually pretty good. It, you know, the game will require you to think about how you want to approach problems. Usually there's one or two, like, very clear paths, but... I don't know. I, I, I'm bad at this game. This requires some form of patience that I lack. 
Um, although I did find at sometimes it's just the, the easiest method is just to like fucking jump a lot and cheese your way to the next checkpoint. Um, cause when, once you're able to hide yourself, there's really no consequence for getting caught other than your score, unless you care about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it is, it, like Ben said, it is a very nice touch that you no longer run by default, which is a fairly serious design flaw in the first one. Other than that, it's just like a lot of timing puzzles, a lot of waiting for your opportunity to strike. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, so, some there's there's hidden secrets in the levels. It does sort of reward you for exploring because I'll, I'll go through like a level that I thought was really or a screen that I thought was really hard. And then I realized, oh, wait, there's another way through that where I could just bypass this entire thing if I had explored a little bit, which is pretty neat. I don't know. Everything looks nice in UHD. So if you enjoyed the original Mark of the Ninja and you want maybe a couple new side missions and some Christopher art, it's not worth, it's not the worst five bucks you can spend. Yeah. For, uh, the, in Canada, it's 20 bucks. So mm -hmm. it's a bit, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a sharp asking price. If, if it's 14 bucks, I could, I could maybe see if you uh, want to grab this on sale, sale, if it goes on sale for the, the autumn thingy that's happening right now, or maybe even the Christmas thing that happens when we don't get the new Doctor Who episode. Uh, yeah, so I'll give it uh, two cheers. Yeah, I I guess I suppose I shouldn't have expected much considering this was a remaster rather than a remake, but I still hate those fucking QT stealth kills. It's, um, no, and it's annoying. It really is annoying how the moment you're spotted, your protagonist ninja person forgets that he has a sword. It's like, nope, we're not using the sword until the enemy is knocked down. Also, and I mentioned this last time when we threw chairs at the non-remastered version of the game, uh, the you get rewarded for not raising the alarm or killing any guards. Uh, and the only thing you get for those rewards is a higher score in the level and some more currency for you to buy upgrades for your character. Why you would want to buy upgrades for your character if you're already good enough to beat the level without triggering the alarm or alerting any of the guards or having to kill them? Yeah, no, there's something was a little bit lost there. But Clay, the developers of the game, they actually do a really good job when it comes to some games. Shank was fucking awesome. Shank 2 was more of the aforementioned fucking awesomeness. Uh, don't starve if you're into that particular genre. It's actually bloody amazing. So, of all the games that they have, why would they remaster this one? Mm, one chair. All right, well, that's it for our chair acquisition of Oh High Mark of the Ninja. Got any final thoughts? I'm upside down now. Woo. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> upside down, Jordan. It's other Jordan from the other realm. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, welcome like back it. to Linux Gamecast Stranger Things edition. <laughs> it's got a really... <laughs> one, one of the things I will say is you bring, you bring up a good point with... Um, there are multiple ways through each level, though, which once that really sunk in, I'm like, wait a minute... There's a way through every one of these situations that I don't have to kill anyone or get detected, which I'm just like, well, fuck, what's the point here? I just got to sit here and brain this out, wait it out. And that's not much of a game for me when I know that I don't really have to cheese it. I just got to wait it and I'm done. Peace out. Um that's the thing. If it if if it was just the waiting, it would be fine. Uh, that's how uh, I agree with thief... you on the ninja sword too. I'm like, come on, uh, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's it, like, oh, I got spotted. Why can't I use my sword? How long did you wait to try to kill a dog? He's like, this game's not gonna let me to kill a dog. Yeah, I can kill a dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I, beat, I beat the crap out of one of those German shepherds. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I understand why they take your sword away when you get caught because they want to disincentivize that. Because otherwise, you can just origami murder bush your way through everything. Um, and if you want, if you want to do the murder bus strats, you got to actually unlock some of the aforementioned uh, upgrades in order to do that. I, 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 I don't know. Like there, 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 there's there's a game design reason for doing what they did. I don't know if that was necessarily the correct choice, but mm. it's a stealth game, right? They don't want they want you to be sneaky. They don't want you to gun your way through. That's what Shank is, as opposed to Mark of the Ninja, right? Got to differentiate it but, somehow. It, yeah, but that's the thing. Okay, you can. Uh emphasize that stealthiness but don't be obtuse about it if the situation calls for it let it 
let me get through it organically. And organically means I'm playing a fucking ninja with a fucking sword and I can't fucking use it. At the end of the day, before we bounce out of here, uh, we wanted a Shinobi, 2D Shinobi. We didn't want um, 2D to shitty. I don't know where to go with it. Oh, uh, I, 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 actually, if you, if you want that... Um completely unrelated uh you gotta you got find a copy of it through means but uh the playstation 2 shinobi very good uh anyways that's <laughs> gonna do it for our ninjing ninjaing because only a ninja can call another ninja ninja um coming up next apparently i gotta solve someone's relationship problems with their wife and their body pillow and just as we wrap up another linux game cast weekly it's time for some hate mail. Yes, it's your time to shine. And you too can get in touch with us by going to linuxgamecast.com. Hit the contact button. Linuxgamecast.com, yes. Uh, you hit the contact button and you make sure to pick LGC Weekly from the little choosy box. Or, of course, you can do like uh, someone did this week and ask Jordan for their relationship advice. There's uh, an option for that, too. If you're a game developer, make sure to include three keys or something that we can uh, share amongst all of us so we, that we can all play your game. It's that easy. You, It's not rocket science. Trust me. People have figured it out. So come on. It's really not that hard. I'll, I'll also, fair. remember... If you want to get in touch with us, send us some messages via Patreon. We listen to those because you piss. Yes. <laughs> we kind of have to. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, I, I, I can't sing my UFO song because we'll get taken down. <laughs> but this is from Andreas. And uh, this is entitled, My Wife is Bad About My Wife Who Body Pillow. <laughs> Dear Dr. Quang, my wife recently started to have a completely irrational anger outbreak regarding my waifu pillow. It all started when I decided to take it with me to bed. It really annoys me, and I fear that that was a mistake. I'm thinking about sending my wife back to the couch for sleeping, but I fear that might impact our marriage since she's not used to sleeping in the bed with us. What should, or she is now used to sleeping in the bed with us. What should I do? Also, I'm building a new gaming rig. I want to get into VR too. Any tips for hardware? Which GPU headset? Thanks for the advice. I run Arch. And he's apparently going to use the affiliate link for buying the parts. Listen, you need to have a serious conversation with your wife and your waifu about access to the bed and you. And come up with some sort of amicable solution that allows you to sleep on the couch and the wife to start banging your body pillow. That way it's fair. Because fairness yes. is the cornerstone of relationships. You can't just hog the body pillow, man. Maybe I don't I don't I don't know. Maybe you need to buy some accessories for it just so that you know it can it can it can do her stuff too. I don't know, man. Like I said, you gotta have this conversation with your spouse. Yes, giant glasses. <laughs> deal with it um also also uh gaming gaming rig wise um gaming rig wise yeah you, you probably you're probably uh better off avoiding the 2080 because that might catch fire maybe maybe look at one of the 2070s Listen, after some reviews um, come out doc dr swing uh, you, you, dr well, quang dr quang you, you, you're going to be using our affiliate link I, I, you're going to need at minimum dual 2080 ti's um to go yeah, along with your quad xeon <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Get, get those like thousand dollar Intel i nines or whatever. Two hundred and fifty six gigs of RAM minimum. So yes, we are going to be dealing yep. with server hardware, but it's one be one worth one, it. one petabyte of solid state NVMe. Easy, guaranteed. I mean, you yeah. don't want to mess up. You know, Linux, Linux really likes that petabyte. Uh, lifestyle. And one terabyte of Optane cache. Yeah. Yeah. And make 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 sure because you you need to do this to get it working under Linux. You need to buy two Oculus Rifts and put one eye on one on each eye. So you can get yes. the full stereoscopic experience. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Period. And then you got to get by the the Vive Pro for the handset controllers as well. Knuckles. You got to got to mix and match. Yeah, you yeah. Gotta you got to use the knuckles. You got to get four no. of them for your feet. Yeah. <laughs> then, then then you can play VR Spider Man for real. <laughs> That's it, man. It's a problem solved. I mean, spit the yeah. mad truth. I mean, this is what we really need. We're not trying to oversell you, and. Uh, yeah. So waifu, waifu body pillows, man. Are, are those like, uh, that, that's the pillow with pictures on them, right? Yeah. Yes. The sexy pictures on them. So yeah, I, like I, got, cool I, I got, I got, or, I got one with like shirtless like, Chris Evans on it. It's hot. <laughs> when you say Chris Evans, you I'm thinking British. You can get a waifu British. pillow with anything. Chris Evans no. and that is. 
I, I, I mean, it, it has British Chris Evans on one side, and if you flip it over, it's American Chris Evans. So, so you can, you can have your cake and eat it too. I actually have one of those long pillows because I got to sleep on my side, and like I get back problems if I don't sleep with like support in between my legs. Okay, and we have it right here, right now. Jordan admitting he has a waifu pillow. I have a long pillow. I don't have the case for it. Well, and except for the Chris, except for the double sided Chris Evans ones. Which you you can buy on Amazon through our affiliate link. <laughs> yes, they're available on LinuxGameCast.com. Shut and up! The We're out. Button. All right. Cue the music. You can always find us around nine thirty Eastern Standard Mode Time. This is where we hear spitting mad nonsense right in your face, organs right in those ear pussies. It's kind of brilliant. If you want to get in touch with me? I'm at Vin Stone on a lower third that I've don't have up. Boom. There it is. Ha. That's the <laughs> wrong one. That's the old one. Hey, it'll work. Thanks for showing up, everyone. I'm Jordan Spung. You can find me reviewing every single waifu body pillow out there on Twitter at The Burning Fool on Google Plus, plus Jordan Spung or on Mastodon at our at Frojo on mast.linuxgamecast.com. And you can find me making sweet, sweet love to this Raspberry Pi 3. A plus on uh, at unaccounted4 on Twitter or at unaccounted4 on mass.linuxgamecast.com. You can tell the difference, can you? No. You really can. <laughs> it, it's, it's the same sort of high-pitched whine. Let's roll the credits. Your name are, your name are in them? Are in them. Your, 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 your name be in them. Your lady. name be in these credits. <laughs> yes, curvy curs. <laughs> Jungle love. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> I think I wanna know you. Know ya. Oh man, can you get like a Zenu body pillow? Yes. You can get a whatever you want body pillow. If, if, if you're willing to pay, you can get anything on the internet. This is, oh, my, yes. this is my emotional support pillow. <laughs> Why does it have a hole? <laughs> this is funny too because I've been rewatching with mayo. I've, I've, I've been I've been rewatching Thirty Rock, and they had an episode where like James Franco is in a relationship with his anime body pillow, and he's like hiring actresses to like date him so that no one knows. And <laughs> okay, yeah, and in the end, it ends up with a three way with the main character James Franco and their body pillow. <laughs> oh no, random Frank, random Frank. <laughs> He's back from the abyss. He emerged from the chaos warp and is now Frank. I'm a the chaos <laughs> god. Rocket Frank. <laughs> we we they called me too Thor. beautiful for this world. <laughs> Rocket Frank, burn that as he's out there alone. Bad if I ever would. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.